This is Fred Beck on Fred Rose Fighting, proudly sponsored by Empire Fight Store and joined over Zoom by Astrid Wett. Astrid, it's nice to see you again. How have you been? It was nice, yeah, it's nice to see you again. Long time no speak. I'm very good. How are you? Yeah, it's been about four months since I last came down to your gym. I'm sorry we couldn't do it in person. Obviously, you aren't here in Manchester at uni. Yeah. Um, what else have you been up to there? Aside from all the boxing, what else have you been doing? To be honest with you, I'm pretty much putting everything I can into this boxing fight. So I am trying to obviously maintain, I still am maintaining all of my other social medias. I've actually been learning how to DJ as well. So I want to do some cover appearances. I've done my first one. But yeah, at the moment, just maintaining my social medias, my OnlyFans, my YouTube and learning how to DJ. But mainly the boxing, I'm trying to put everything I can into it. What's harder, learning to box or learning to DJ? I think learning to box is definitely more physical. Hmm. Tom Zanetti's on the car though, isn't he? And he's a DJ. You get a few tips off him. Yeah, yeah. I might have a chat with him after the fight to be honest. I was kind of shocked that he was on the card, but yeah, I'm um, I'm interested to see how he does. And yeah, like I said, maybe get some tips after the fight on how to DJ. I don't I had to interview Tom the other day, I haven't put it up yet, but um I had no clue who it was. I searched him up and I'm like, wow, this guy's actually this guy's pretty famous. The same with Jack B. He's, he's got like five million. million. Yeah, he's got like five mil on TikTok. I've never heard of him. So then, like, yeah, five mil, that's pretty crazy. But it's weird like that, though, isn't it? Sometimes you get accounts with millions of followers and you've never heard of them. Strange. But do you find that's more of like YouTubers? If you have five mil subscribers, everyone would have heard of you. Why is that particular? Yeah. Why is that the case of them? I don't know whether it's just because TikTok is so saturated. There's so many people on TikTok and it's quite, I don't want to say easy to get followers on TikTok, but. TikTok is the only app I know where you can have 10 followers and post a video and it get a million views. Whereas with YouTube, you kind of have to have the subscribers to get the views, if you kind of know what I mean. Um, so yeah, I don't know whether it's just because there's so many more TikTokers than there are YouTubers that you, you kind of get those accounts that you never heard of because you can only keep up with so many accounts, right? Yeah, that's true. You can blow up on TikTok quite easily. But do you believe that's because you only see that person that TikTok for like 5 to 10, 15 seconds, or on YouTube, you're watching them for a good five minutes. They're kind of lasting yeah. very much longer. Yeah, I agree with you there. It's, it's a lot shorter. It stays in your mind. People now, I feel like, people's attention spans just aren't as, as long. So they people prefer the shorter content rather than, like you said, the five minute, 10 minute video on YouTube. I don't like if people talk about people's attention spans because my attention span is not great now. Probably <laughs> for the TikTok, mine has got quite bad. Like, I watched that film the other day. It's the Harry Styles film. Um, I, can't remember, oh, yeah. I, can't, I can't remember what it's called. It's got Harry Styles and Florence Pugh. And the ending was quite good. It lasts her half an hour. But until then, the two hours before that, I found really boring. Oh, really? I haven't yeah. seen it, I can tell you. But, yeah, it, it, it's quite... Um, It looks like a confusing film. I thought, yeah, it was a bit confusing. I thought Harry Styles was a good actor, though. A lot of people yeah. don't think criticism. I don't say the word. Criticism. But I thought, it, I thought it was quite good. But, yeah, that's true about tennis fans, because, yeah... I do struggle a bit more now, but do you think that's just our generation or do you think that's a mix between like technology, TikTok, that sort of thing? Yeah, I think it's a mixture of both. I think it's our generation. We've just got used to that shorter content. Right? Obviously, older people, uh, I say older people. Um, yeah, like our parents and stuff, they're more used to like longer TV shows, movies, but we've grown up with shorter content. I think that's just the way it's gone. Mm, yeah, I guess I guess on TikTok, you need to get hooked in the first like two seconds. I was just carrying kind of scrolling. Yeah, exactly. Quite a few things nowadays, but let's move on. Let's move on to the boxing fight, which is happening next week. <laughs> so, yeah, you're fighting Keely. Now, I can't mm -hmm. keep up with all this kind of TikTok drama. So tell me how it was about <laughs> Astrid. Um, it's a strange one, to be honest. And I did speak to her about this the other day. We did a, we did a little live with Design. Um, I don't really understand where it all came from. And this is why I backed away from the TikTok drama and the TikTok group, if you must say. Like, if, if anybody kind of follows me or knows me, which isn't that many people, but they, they, I don't really post on TikTok that much anymore. And I don't really get involved and collab with the TikTok UK group just because, like you said, you can't keep up with it. One minute you're friends, then the next minute you're not. And you don't really understand why. And it might be because someone's taken something out of context or it's just all over the place. It's an emotional roller coaster. So I have kind of taken myself away from that. Um, but then I just started seeing videos of Keely posting, saying, she, she I saw this interview um, and she said that she would want to fight someone that she doesn't like because she couldn't fight someone that she would like. So Astrid fits the criteria. And I was like, hang on a second. I was like, I don't really know what I've done here. So I left it 
And then there's there was just a few little digs on TikTok that she posted. So I thought, you know what, we'll give her a fight. So do you think you get more views on TikTok if you're arguing that person or if you're friends with that person? It's difficult. I think it's a mixture between both. I think when the friendship first starts, it does well because people are shocked because you guys are friends. But people love drama but I've always said I I hate drama I, I don't want to get involved with it but for some reason it all, it all comes to me um so again yeah that's why I've just taken myself out of this situation yeah there's always yeah on TikTok there's a lot of drama but you're friends with Keely at some at some stage I remember seeing and then you're mm-hmm. kind of enemies with her when did that switch mm-hmm. happen honestly I have no idea I did ask a question to her the other day um because we first met in person when we did this big collab in Nottingham and everything was fine. Saw her at charity matches after that. We did a few other bits and everything was fine. And then we just kind of lost contact. I don't know whether it's got something to do with me and her dad kind of had this, not even a falling out because we never argued, but we lost contact as well. Um, and yeah, it just they just decided that they didn't like me. No, it, it, this is why it's confusing because there was, no, there was not a pinpoint where it, there was a switch in my eyes and there wasn't anything that actually physically happened that made them just like me, do you know what I mean? There wasn't an argument. So it was very confusing for my part, but, you know, she she asked for a fight, so she's got a fight. Mm, certainly, yeah. There is definitely is kind of most drama-filled fights, just what everyone wants to see at the end of the day. But you've been training for some time now, obviously you've been a fight out way back in June mm-hmm. or July, I can't remember the exact, exact month. Yeah. How long has Keely been training for, do you know? Um, I'm not 100% sure because I don't know whether she might have started training before she said, do you know what I mean? Just to kind of mm. keep it a little bit low key. Um, but from what I know, I think it's been about four or five weeks. Okay, so that's not long at all then, is it? No, it's not. And to be honest, I was, um, I, I do respect her a lot for taking on the flight because she's getting in the ring with someone who she knows has had more training. Although I didn't, I trained for the Kingpin fight. But after that kind of fell through, I stopped training over the summer and I restarted a camp in the beginning of September. So I've only had about maybe two, three weeks more training than Keely has in this camp. Um, But she also has the weight advantage because she is going to be heavier than me. But we we allowed that because she's had less training. Mm, Okay, yeah, I'm not hearing about that weight advantage, yeah. It is quite significant. What what's the weight difference between you two? So I think I'm going to be weighing in around fifty four, and she should be weighing in, I think, between fifty seven and fifty nine. Okay, it's so, not too bad. Then. It's only four kg, five kg. Yeah, it's not too bad. It was when we first um, were talking about the whole fight and the contracts, or whatever. I thought I was still fifty two kg, mm. but obviously over the summer, you know, <laughs> going out, eating, drinking, whatever. I came back to the gym in September and I weighed, I actually weighed 55, which was a shock, but I've lost a bit because of training and she's actually come down a bit. Okay, that makes sense then, yeah. Obviously, I think everyone does go up on the side when they come down. Because I down exactly. Bit, but say you get past Keely in next week. So say you get past Keely next week. Do you look to boss again after that? Absolutely. I would love to carry on the whole boxing saga if you say I really enjoy the sport I really love the training and obviously I've never fought before I'm not a pro boxer I'm you know a social media influencer so I don't I don't expect people to see AJ versus um Fury but yeah I would love to carry on and just improve and yeah I just can't wait to feel that feeling of winning and what do you think that big, the biggest fight out there is for you for you Astrid to be honest with you, the biggest fight probably is L. Um, and this is, I'm kind of stuck because I don't know what her deal is with Kingpin. Um, but I would fight L any day. It just, I would never fight her on Kingpin. It would have to be on like a proper card. Okay, so if it's a card like Misfits, you'd fight L Brooklyn? Yeah, absolutely. And that'd be after your fight with Keely then? You'd have to do that? Yeah, well, obviously Keely's lined up. Hopefully, well, we'll be getting the win. And I'm not sure if there'll be something maybe in between just to kind of, you know, get the get some wins under my belt and then be a little bit more experienced in it and, and build the fight up a little bit more. Yeah, I am going to get the ball rolling. That's, that's pretty good then. Well, Astrid, I'm gonna, I guess I'll see you on the Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, <laughs> Saturday, <five laughs> days next week, but I'm looking forward to it.
That's yeah, That's you're going to see me a lot next week. <laughs> you'll, be, you'll, be, you'll be sick of me saying, Ashley, could you do another interview? Could you do an interview here? Interview yeah, there. yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's fine. Grab me whenever, Fred. I'll be, I'll be sweet with it. That's awesome. Ashley, I'll see you next week then. Thanks so much for your time. Perfect. Thank you for having me, Fred.